Okay, that still doesn't open. So let's go in here, kill the Chaos Serpent. Ouch. Alright. So... Let's go over here first. It looks like there's something hidden. Oh no, it's just one of these. Okay, and now we're going to save, so that way I don't have to do any of this. Oh, come on, look straight. Thank you. Okay, well that was nice. Oh, I did not know that. Huh, I wonder where this goes. Okay, where the hell am I? Oh! See, I told you that thing opens up. Ah! Good, now I can go directly to the effluvium. Apparently it puts me behind some wall. Oh. Okay. Well, that's interesting. But I don't care, I open that up. And that's... It makes it easier for me to get to the Ephibium. Serpent Staff, which I already have. I don't understand why this game would give you duplicates of weapons, because you're not going to use them, or you're not going to, like, miss the weapon. Like, I understand maybe, like, once or twice. Uh, hold on. Ugh! Ugh, thank you. Yeah, take that. Bad fish monsters. Ugh, they probably take taste like tilapia. Cause I imagine that stalkers, when there's no, you know, adventurers coming by, considering that they live in a sub uh, what the hell? That's like the fourth portal I found in here. Uh, they probably, you know, snack on what else is in the sewer. Kinda nasty. But I expect no no less from muckraking filth monsters. So I wonder if the effluvium takes me somewhere else. Can I jump up here? Jump, jump, jump. No. Let's try going from over here. Maybe I can jump across the mushrooms. And it doesn't matter because there's nothing up here. So I guess my last stop is the portal. this. Oh, I'm in the Forsaken Outpost. No. <clears throat> oh, that was kind of nice. Oh, what, so I just break stuff in here and I get a new door in the Gabe? I kind of want to look up Gabe and see, or Gibbet, and see if it's like a real word, or... Because I'm pretty sure it is. It just put me in the Forsaken Outpost. Oh. Oh, that's how you open that stupid door. Alright, well, something opened in the Gabe, so let's go check it out. I do love the weird voice synthesizer. You know what game had awesome, like, atmospheric sound, and then still had, like, a pretty kick-ass soundtrack? Um, 
the new Siren that came out for PS3. That game, I really enjoyed that. I unfortunately ruined it for Delirious because um, there's a, a... Wait, I can just cut through here instead of taking that stupid elevator to the Gibe. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of like sideline dialogue and stuff that you only really see the first time you play it. So I kind of spoiled parts of it. Um, and I don't know. There were like little journals and notes that you normally read, but I picked them all up. Um, so I think some of the context was lost in the game. So some of it probably didn't make as much sense as it should have. Upstairs, you say? Maybe I can finally get that other key? But, I don't know, that last song in the game, the like, uh, I'm not gonna ruin what happens, but basically a guy like puts on his headphone and starts going like Double May Cry on a bunch of those sirens, or the Shibido. I mean, I like siren because enemies never die, you know, they're real zombies, they just keep coming back. Um, axe key. Open the frickin' door. Oh. You know what time it is? It's porkalator time. Come on, all of you, fan out in the hallway. Sucker. Alright, now door, can you stay open for more than like 30 seconds? I can deal with one. Oh, and just as a warning, the pigs will bite if you ever play this game. And they don't hurt much at all. They do, like, I think, like, two damage. But the sound they make is just awful. It's like... <laughs> I figured something was going to happen. Watch the lights slowly go out as my wraiths go to work. <clears throat> oh, hi! Okay, yeah, let's just keep throwing monsters at me. And I'll stop wasting mana and stuff like that. But, yeah, if you like horror games, Siren is awesome. But, I don't know, there is a little bit of, I won't say like a, a learning curve, but there's stuff in the first Siren that if you don't understand the mechanics of the game, you might not like the Siren blood curse or whatever it is as much. Um, <clears throat> or if you don't really understand the context of something like a, ah, a heresy arc. Yeah, messes day up. Yeah, of course. First thing he does, become invincible. I wish I could use a porkalator on him. Just turn him into a pig. That'd be pretty awesome. Uh, what do I have? I have one of these. Does he have the swirly things? Ugh, oh, you bastard. Alright, well at least my Dark Servant didn't go off, so that's a step in the right direction. Come on. Come on, Mr. Heresy Arc. I believe this is the boss of this hub, or at least of the Gibe. Alright. Oh, no! Porkalator! Oh, great. Now he's gonna go invincible again, you stupid Dark Servant. There we go. Kick his ass! Ah! I'm gonna go over here for the time being. Ooh, Wings of Wrath? That's kinda nice. I'll remember that. Ah, 
up, and well, that's over. Uh. Come on, Dragon Skin Racers. And now over to the health. There we go. Ugh! You're such an asshole, Heresy Arc. Like, out of all bosses, Heresy Arcs are the most annoying. Anything that stays invincible for extended periods is annoying. And I'm running out of time on this episode. See, you get like 20 seconds to hit him while you're dodging his annoying rolling fireballs. I may have to stop this episode. Jeez. Stop hiding up there on the throne. Get down here and fight like a... NPC. Yeah. You know what? I'm fine. Next time your shield's down, ow. I'm totally gonna gas you. No, no wizards. Hey, you can't cast fireballs when you're sucking down poison gas, can you? Oh, that wasn't so bad. That was actually good timing. Note to self, Fletchets actually do work on him. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Do I use the Rings of Wrath or can I keep it? Oh, good, I can keep it in my inventory. Alright. And he shall journey into the realms of the dead and contest the forces therein onto the very gates of despair. But whether he returns, retur shall return again to the world of light, no man knows. And the context of that sentence was confusing. Damn. Is that it? Are you strong enough to face your own masters? I've seen a kung fu movie about that. I think I can do it. Alright, well, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Hexen Beyond Heretic with me, Morak Dice. See you later!